What's good, Lena? Bad news. Went back to Cactus Flats. OMG, no. What happened? Long story. What? No way, I'm in Los Ojos. Meet you at your place? You mean our new place? Yep. Wait, actually. Come pick me up, sending you a pin. Sure. Yes. Can't believe I get to see you so soon. My rave fave, my literal favorite human. OMFGH. Can't wait, Savius. How long had it been since I seen Savvy? Six months? No, a year. It didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around because everywhere I went in Cactus Flats was soaked through with memories. Most days, that just made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does, like really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or maybe just made me like it more. I saw her up ahead and my stomach flip. L bunny. Savius. I don't even know where to start. Same. I have like months of backlog to tell you and my brain is just... Ah. Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn, girl. Come on. Whatever you've been up to, it's working. God, seeing you again is like... It's like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, could we less talk, more room? Being this close to Capra 8's Q creeps me out. Yeah, I thought it was weird you wanted to meet here. Oh, I was downtown and it's a giant eyesore, you know? Seemed easy for you to find. Well, now I know where to avoid. Exactly. So, don't have lights like this back in the flats, right? The way we left things echoed in my head. Heat rushed into my cheeks. Was I turning red? My chest tightened and fluttered like I couldn't get enough air. I called her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe right before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm sorry about how we left things. I just wanted to say. Ancient history, whatever, I'm totally over it. Well, what have you been up to? Tell me everything. Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. Remember that guy who said I could crash with him and his roommates? I definitely remember how he always called me Lisa. Turned out his roommates were more like his parents. 
they were super sweet and their place was nice as fuck and oh my god so clean but then his mom gave us matching sweaters for christmas i swear i felt myself shrivel into a little ghost right then and there over the eggnog yikes very compared to perfect family time social activism is way more chill just some fogies too afraid of their own shadow to really affect change but i can work with that speaking of i can't believe we're back in your old steery this thing knows all my secrets and you know i love retro as much as the next girl but Would you mind parking it a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they knew I was pro car. It's just a big issue in my work right now, you know? Oh, sure, okay. But wait. Where are we going? What's your address? Oh yeah, pull over. You live here? No, I just remembered. I got you a present. Yep, I'll pull over. Close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Um, are you gonna? No. Unlike you, psychopath, I will not put a bug in it. It wasn't a bug. It was a caterpillar. And it was fuzzy. Oh, I remember. Come on, give me your hand. I forgot how tiny her hands were and how they were always so cold. How are your fingers freezing in the middle of the desert? It must be the ice running through my veins. Jace is always whining about it. Who's Jace? She slipped something metallic onto my arm. If you're not going to shut your eyes, then at least stop fidgeting. It tightened to a snug fit around my wrist. Whoa. What is it? It's a field grid. It's a six generation biofeedback device for your fields. The color and intensity shows your mood, basically the way you feel in your body at that exact moment. You're yellow, which means you're feeling positive probably because of my awesome gift. I've got the necklace edition, see, feel good green. Now we can both have like total awareness of our emotional well-being. You know, to take care of each other and all that junk. Aw, uh, Savius, it's like the best friendship bracelet necklace ever, exactly. So, it's reading my brain waves? Nah, it reads your blood. It sounds like a mood ring. It totally is, except it actually works. Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some chemicals to flood our system, right? So this has a little sensor that reads all the molecules as they go surfing through your tubes. So cool. See, it just moved towards green, which means you just got a little chilled out. 
there are four basic colors. Yellow is like feel good green, but higher intensity, happy, sunny, excited. Red is the angry, anxious, agitated, and blue is, well, blue. I don't know, I thought it'd be really cool for you to see your colors. People can be so fake, you know? But everyone I know with a feel grid, it's like an emotional superpower. Keeping it real is like second nature now. Even without talking for months, she still knew me so well. She didn't even see how I had gone off on Liam just now. I'm trying to work on my emotional superpowers, just so you know. I get it. This just lets you know that what you're feeling is real, but that it's temporary. Plus, now you'll know when your PAX is giving you too much shit. Too blue, and you probably need to take a break. Too red, then you gotta stand up for yourself, okay? Tell that to my star rating. That's exactly it. This thing tells people they're pissing you off so you don't have to. I know confrontation is more my thing. But as you can see, I'm surfing a chill green wave at the moment. Chill as a cucumber. Lena, you're still saying it wrong. What? What is it supposed to be? Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Oh my god, I missed you. Damn, I even tried to remember it like cucumbers are served chill. Well, I missed you too, lady. See, now I know that I made you happy and not like pissed at me. It's broken, I'm totally pissed. Okay, but I'm being serious. It's not a big deal, but the way we fought when I left. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I know. I really don't want my feelings to upset anyone. But you do feel things a lot, actually. Which is something I really love about you. Your heart is so amazing and the way you feel things. It's kind of beautiful. But bottling all that up doesn't make it go away. And when it all comes out, it's kind of intense, like that night. You're right. I'm sorry. But I'm here, and you're here, and we're starting over. And we're good, right? Hell yes. I felt a weight lift off my rib cage. We were in sync again. We could always talk about serious stuff later. Savvy and I had all the time in the world now. So, how do we get to your place? I'm starving. Oh shit, I'm really sorry, but... Can you take me somewhere else really quick first? Sure, where are we going? Well, I need you to drop me off actually. It's this guy, and trust me, it's kind of a huge mess. You don't want to know. Is everything okay? Totally. Kind of. 
I don't know, honestly. I kind of fucked up at work, and I just got to go fix it before shit comes down on my head. I wish we could just go straight to this awesome ramen shop you're gonna love instead of helping my dumb ass. It's a little embarrassing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's all gonna be fine. I just gotta do this one little thing before it blows up and then I get to keep my job, thank the gods. And we don't have to start looking for a cheaper place. Kidding. It didn't really sound like she was kidding. I'd never heard her take any job so seriously before or even hint at money problems. Maybe we'd have more in common this time around too. No worries, I got you. You're the best. I mean it. Well, right back at you. He lives in this totally weird rich person dorm called Kenfo. The place is crawling with techie scum. He sounds great. See, you aren't missing anything, trust me. He's been dying to get into this club and tonight I can actually make it happen. But you should totally come meet up with me and Jace later. You could just pick up another ride, right? Who knows, maybe it'll be some cutie who wants to show you around LO. Hang on. You're going to a club right now? Yeah, it's this incredible DJ who only plays secret shows. I bet you'll really like him. I can try and get you on the list. Let me just text Jace. I kind of just want to hang out with you. You will soon. So how long have you been with him? Yes, cool, okay. He said he'll text you all the deets soon. Great, I'll just wait for the deets. I've just got to do this thing, then you should head over. So when... Oh, this is it, Kenfo. I'll text you in like an hour tops, okay? Then come meet us. Sounds good. See you soon, Rumi. Welcome to LO and remember, pick up a cute pack snicks. I watch her bounce up the illuminated steps and vanish into the soaring apartment tower, half spaceship, half greenhouse, and covered in glowing triangles. What was this place? Capra cars buzz around me like I was inside some kind of nest. A few of the people inside gave my car a definite look from behind their tinted windows, and they were right. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be with Savvy, and even for her. Maybe I'd misjudged our friendship. Maybe she'd moved on. But it was just a detour, no big deal. I'd do one more ride to earn some coin, then we'd be back in sync. Things just had a way of being spontaneous with Savvy, and I was never as happy as I'd been when we were together. Hello, how are you feeling today? 
Your new field grid is a biofeedback device that displays your emotional state as a color, yellow, green, blue, or red. Intense in a good way. Your field grid also measures the intensity of your emotions in three levels, low, medium, and high. The more your field grid lights up, the more intense your feelings. The circumplex, fancy science term. This map represents a full spectrum of emotions. Yes, even the icky ones. Each segment is a unique state. So even though you may be feeling like a jumble of emotions, your field grid will let you know which one you are actually experiencing, even if it's a little unpleasant. Feel free. Notice how you think and react when you're in each color. The ideal of the field grid is simply to illuminate the feelings in your body so you can tune into your emotional awareness. Stay centered. There's no such thing as a bad emotion, really. Just remember that the dark outer edges of the map are more intense feelings, while the lighter shades in the center are more mellow. One last thing. All emotions are valid, but the outer limits of the field grid are meant to tell you something, like it's time to take a break, take a nap, or even take a moment to center. Now, take a deep breath and good luck out there. You're in between red and blue. You may be feeling guilt, anxiety, or embarrassment. Between red and blue, you are beginning to feel agitation build your energy in a negative way. You can experience hot flashes, sweating, or nervous tics. Your thinking is faster, but tends towards impulsiveness and more explosive expression. Steer towards an appropriate quadrant to visualize how you would like to direct your energy.